two. You. Hi, I'm Anna Mendez. I was born November 3rd, 1984. This is me when I was little. Uh, my brother is Marcus Ayers. He's up there in the corner, or that whole right side. He's a senior here. Um, but this is other pictures of me when I was little. This picture right here is milk spilled all over the coffee table. And it's because I thought that I would be cool and jump from the couch over the table onto the other side. And I knocked over a glass of milk and my parents started yelling at me, so I thought that I would just lick it up. <laughs> and I guess that made them a little bit happier with me. Uh, that's me dancing at the bowling alley. I don't really remember that, but like, uh, I can can't oh really see the scar, but... A little bit you can, yeah. yeah. It's the best I could do. Um, I had appendicitis when I was eight years old. I was at a birthday party, and... I don't even remember the day, the morning after we were having the actual party, I woke up and I didn't feel too good, but I didn't think much of it. So we went to breakfast and I ended up throwing up and then I just laid down on the couch and I threw up again and like four more times after that. So she called my mom and she came and got me and I was laying on my couch in my living room and she asked me where my stomach hurt and I told her it was right here and she said, well, that's not your stomach, so we have to go to the hospital. And I went there, and then they gave me some grapes while I was waiting for the test to get done or whatever. And uh, I puked up those on the bed, so they had to clean those up. And then they said, well, while your stomach's empty, we might as well just go into surgery. So they went straight into surgery, and then I stayed the night after that. I don't really remember too much of it, just uh, count to 10, and you'll see this balloon go up to the ceiling, and I got to like two. Uh, like, I have a sensitive skin disease, it's called dermal graphism, also known as skin writing. You can scratch or slap or draw pictures into my skin and they puff up and get all itchy. How long do they last? Uh, depends on how hard you push, but usually something like that about a couple hours or all day. I had, I don't know, one of my friends wanted to do it in the first hour and it just went away, like maybe last hour. I've huh. never heard of that. I, my mom, I used to get like little watches all over my skin, just red. It looked like hives. So we went to the doctor and got tests done. He did a scratch test and wrote my name in my arm. And he told me that I have dermographism because my mom thought it was allergies, but it ended up to not be anything. Is that hereditary? Uh, no. So you're the only one? Yeah. Wow, and you are unique. I looked online and it said that maybe 5% of the population has this. Wow. So I feel kind of cool. You are special. Cause like, can we have to take a day just right on you? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's really itchy, so I'd be going no, crazy. No, I'm just not <laughs> um, These are my pets. That's Princess. I have had her for about 13 years. Um, she's really bad. Yeah. And she said, yeah, and I fed him. He just slept like that on me the whole night. And we ended up keeping him. And last Friday, he got hit by a car. No way. Is he OK? He's dead. I'm sorry. God damn yeah. it. Didn't really take it too well, because I felt like he was going to, I thought he was going to die when I first found him, because he was like skin and bones. And I just thought that I saved him. It was just sad that he died. That sucks. Next. 
Um, this is my big family. That's not even all of them. There's probably 10 or more. Um, that was, I don't even remember, but the theme was brown or white to wear. They just, we rarely ever get family pictures. And we can never get everyone in the same room at the same time. So yeah, this is Willie. He is my favorite little cousin of the entire family. He's just the best kid in the whole world. He never cries, ever. He's just so giggly, and every time he sees me, he just screams my name, and he's just such a good kid. Uh, in the middle, that's my grandpa. He died of cancer last year, and so did my other grandpa. They died maybe two or three months apart, and my grandmas, I never met them, but they also died of cancer, so never really got to see them much. Next. Uh, that's my mom and my dad can't really see my dad because he was dancing and singing with my cowboy hat on. It was after we got back from our cottage. Um, that's my mom. She works here at the school as a lunch lady. She's really short. That's where I get it. <laughs> and I don't know. She's just, I can't even describe it. She's just crazy. Next. Uh, that's my friend Haley. She is probably my absolute best friend in the entire world. We I never really get to see her, just only in the summer, and this picture was taken at Todd Lake, near Big Rapids, it's kind of an Everett. Uh, that's where I've grown up, and I spend all summer there. Um, next. That's Leslie, she's my cousin. She's the absolute funniest person in the entire world. I love her so much, she just always knows how to make me laugh, and she's just, everything she does is a joke. It's just great. Next. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with my future, and I don't want to think about it while I still can. So, I'm not too worried about it yet. And that's it. You rock.